The District of the Straits White Bay North went to Christopher Mitchamore of the NDP. We had a moment to speak with him this morning. So we're here today with uh, Christopher Mitchamore. He's the newly elected MHA for the Straits White Bay North. And um, you must be feeling pretty happy today about your, uh, your victory last night. We're pretty ecstatic, and it's not just a victory for me, it's a victory for our team and for the people here and, uh, and for the NDP. Right. Now, uh, obviously, as a new MHA, you haven't had a lot of experience in the House, but uh, you must have some idea of what the, uh, the uh, policies and things you're looking to uh, have brought to the forefront. What do you think is the, is the most important issue facing the people of this district? Well, there are a number of issues, Tim, in the district. I've knocked on all the doors, and, and speaking to them, you know, things like health care came up, number one priority. Uh, affordable housing is certainly a big issue. When it comes to employment and, and, and job creation, the Ingalee Fish Plant is a major issue um, in that uh, area of the district. That's uh, become a personal safety concern. It's, uh, it's atrocious that it's still there, and there's much work that needs to be done to ensure that the removal is, is complete. We have a number of roads that uh, don't have pavement, and we don't have adequate cell and broadband internet. There's transportation issues. So we do have a number of things, but not like any other district. We, we have challenges, and uh, we'll work with the people to represent them, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Now, you obviously worked very hard during the campaign period. Um, what were the people saying to you about uh, the chances of a, of a fairly young candidate for the NDP taking the seat? Well, it depends, I guess, on who you talk to. There were people who were skeptical, but uh, go back to our to our slogan, you know, don't let them tell you it can't be done, and uh, and that's what needs to be the focus. You work hard, you stick to the issues, you focused on the issues, and, and that's what we did. I listened to the concerns of people, you know, and, and when you reach out on that level, uh, it makes a big difference. And, uh, you, you know, people, people do listen, and, and uh, it, it made a big difference in the campaign. Now, I noticed this, uh, this particular election campaign, there was a lot of social media work going on. How big of an issue do you think that played in your campaign? Well, I think it, uh, it played a strong role. You know, I think politicians more and more need to be adaptive of technology and, uh, and the social media. I've been running a, a blog for the last uh, year plus about rural Newfoundland and Labrador, bringing up issues and, and things in the area. Uh, my Facebook group uh, certainly did get a lot of hits and a lot of comments. Twitter as well. It's, it's a great way to connect and more often than not, you know, if you look at the social media, it's, uh, it's a growing demographic among the 50 plus group and, uh, and I believe we reached out and, and got a lot of people in that category to, to vote for the NDP. Now the uh, Premier has stated that she's not going to have a fall session this year. Do you think that's a good move for the government or do you think it's important to get back to work and to have the House of Assembly back in business? I think, and, and it's been the NDP policy, uh, we had it in our platform that we'd like to see the House sit a minimum of 60 days. You know, the, the real work, the legislation, things need to get passed. There's issues that need to be taken care of. And uh, I, I really think that there should have been a fall session. Um, disappointed that there's not, um, but uh, still there's lots of work to be done on the ground. Now what do you have to say to other candidates in, in the Straits, uh, White Bay North, uh, about their campaign? and? And the fact is an incumbent uh, went down to defeat last night. Mm -hmm. What kind of message do you have for the other candidates? Well, I certainly commend the candidates. Uh, they certainly worked hard on the campaign. And, uh, you know, I, I thank them for all their efforts. And, uh, and, and they certainly had a lot of support as well. And uh, it just goes to show, you know, uh, at the end of the day, people, people look at and, and will decide who they want to represent them. And... Uh, I'm quite elated that it was the, the NDP, a party of the people. Okay. How important do you think the uh, volunteers in your campaign were? They worked pretty hard, I'm sure. Do you have anything you want to say to your volunteers? I certainly do. And I, not only, I may have only had one office here, but I had a lot of volunteers throughout the, the district and the region using the social media, and that's been a great way. My volunteers, there was, you know, I can't count the number of them that, uh, that committed time, made donations, supported um, you know, it was, it was a tireless effort uh, on their behalf, and without them and without the team, I mean, it's not a one-person show, it takes a team to, to win a campaign, and without them, I, I would have never gotten to where I am right now, so uh, I really have to thank them, you know. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for doing this interview with us. I know it's a, it's a, a good time right now for you, and uh, we appreciate you taking the opportunity, and we congratulate you on your victory. Thanks very much, Tim. From Flowers Cove, this is Tim Clark reporting.